Hello and welcome to the lab portion of um, of the first uh, class. So here um, I had a folder in there called lab one. When you open that that folder, you are going to see these files in there. Open up that MXD, and then also the Word document that is in there. The Word document will give you a background as to the project on the Corolla um, out, out, outbreak in London um, uh, many years ago. So. If you open the MSD, it will look something like this. And then you will see some layers over here which are broken. So here, what I wanted to do is actually remove this layer. So right click on that and then hit on remove. Okay, to get that one out. For the um, the Corolla uh, dev location, we are going to get the data from the, the, the geo database that came with it with it so what I wanted to do is right click on the data um, go to data repair and then what you're going to do is you're going to browse your computer to wherever you have that folder lab one folder and then when you come in there you are going to see that this um, layer is going to be there and then you just hit on add and that is going to re refix that um, issue uh, for us so now if I check on the layer I can see the locations of where the deaths occurred in in um, in London. So the Tizian polygon that is in there, we can right click on that and also remove that layer. We don't um, let us not worry about it. But the the, the background on this project is years ago at eighteen um, in the eighteen hundreds in London, there was a coral outbreak. And uh, the doctor by name John Snow uh, believed that people were dying as a result of the water they were drinking from those pumps. But back then, everybody believed it was a cemetery and some other, you know, supernatural forces that was causing the death. So what he decided to do was to map up London. So the base map that you see over there um, is actually how London used to um, look like at the time of this um, particular uh, outbreak. So what he did was he, he point, put up the locations of where all the pumps are, and then he also mapped the locations of where people were dying to see if there were a correlation between the pumps and the deaths and where all these people who were dying, where they getting their water source from those areas. So his theory was that if we can stop people from drinking from that water source, that means we are going to control their outbreak. And this was one of the earliest spatial analysis that was done um, as far as we are aware of. So what we will do is we'll go through the word document that came with it and then just try to answer some basic questions. So for instance, we want to know, since we have the Corolla death over here, we want to know, for instance, how many people died? How do we get that information? We can open up the attribute table and then we can see that there's total number of 547 people that died. Okay, now we can go, um, we can ask certain questions. So for instance, we want, we want to find out um, what projection systems um, the data is in. So let's say you want to find a projection system, you can right click on the layer, go to properties, and be able to see what projection that data is in. So here, if I go to the source, it will tell me the data is in the richest national grid, which is a transverse Mercator. All right, so we can find some of those things and then the same thing if I want to check out the, the symmetry, the same, you can see it's in the same coordinate system. All right, so this here gives you um, some basic understanding as to where um, where people, um, or just some basis of some spatial analysis. So what we want to do is let's say, um, let's change the, let's change the symbology of the depth. Okay, so let's change it to something. Okay, let's say we want to use something like that. So let's do that. So now we can see all the um, the depths. Okay, so we already have an idea. Um, so there's a question. If you look in the web document, that's a good one. So you want to say total number of Corolla devs. We already checked that. That can be easily answered by opening up the attribute table, which is what? Uh, 5, 547. Now we want to see this is a cemetery. 
this is the cemetery area we want to see the number of people that died within the cemetery because the belief was that the cemetery was the cause of um, the outbreak but you can see as you can see by plotting you can see there are more people outside the cemetery than that so let's say we want to see the number of people that died in the cemetery area so let's go ahead and then we are going to do a selection so we want to select by location all right so go to selection on the top and then we want to select um what do we want to select the coral depths okay and then we want to say the source layer over here should be the cemetery so because we want to see the number of people that died um within the um, the cemetery so change that to cemetery and then here we will say what intersect so we will say if you intersect with the cemetery layer then we want to select you so we'll go ahead and do that so you can see now if we open the attribute table we can see that we have 70 people that died within the cemetery boundary okay obviously if we wanted to do a little um buffer we could have added a buffer to that to that analysis uh, window so we could have added say a buffer and then apply let's say a 70 met, uh, 70 meters buffer we can do that and apply and now you can see that if we do a 70 meter buffer the number goes up so pretty much you can do something like that but since the question says um how many die within um within that um cemetery area 70 meters will not be good um we can just say maybe let's just do five meter buffer so the person is just outside that and now the number goes to 80. so we can say so if you look on on question number 14 where I ask you what percentage of death occurred within the cemetery area, then it's going to be 80 over uh, 547, uh, and that will give you that percentage. Okay, all right, so that is one. When we are done, we can go over here and click selection, and then let's close the attribute table. All right, so the second portion of the um, of the assignment, if you follow the the um, the Word document allows us to be able to do a um, couple of analysis. So here, let me actually let me do um, let's do let's do this. So let's say we want to see the concentration of where where people were dying. So what we could do on that is we can use some tools called like let's say a density tool. So if you want to do a density analysis, that will give us an an understanding of where um, a concentration of people actually die as opposed to just looking at a point so here let me take time and move away from the um the tutorial step by step but what we want to do is we want to go to customize okay and then go to extensions and then here this is something you're going to do throughout the whole class you want to ensure that your spatial analysis checked on okay that will tell ArcMap to allow you to do some of that analysis that we're about to do so when that is set up then you can come over here to your um, analysis toolbox so if you don't have your toolbox open this is the toolbox so click on that this guy will open up and now you can see here we have what we call density so here if i want density there are different types of density so here let's just say we want to use the kernel density so double click on the kernel density and then the input point over here is going to be the corella depths because i want to create a heat surface so this will be my input okay and then um population field is going to be none don't worry about that for now but then the output you hear this is where you want to pay attention and make sure that your output is going to the right location so you want your output to go back into that database that you are using okay so the database for lab one is what you want to use um you want to use so if i go back to my lab one folder you can see i have the wilson and then here i can say um i can call it density all right and then you can save um i can keep the output let's just keep the output um parameters the same for now and then what we could do is just hit on okay and then the system will start running it all right and i got some error uh, let's see what what acmap said okay 
Let's try it again. Let me do this. Keep that. Keep the default. Run it and see. So ArcMap is not using my parameters. Let me double check. One each. Yeah, all right. Let's try the point point density and see point density. Gorilla devs. Keep the default. Uh, let's keep the default over here. Then let me see. That is also giving me an error message. Cannot create a low precision data set in a high precision database. Uh, well, all right, let me figure out what is going on. Okay. All right, let's do something else. We'll try that. We'll try the kernel density again. But what we can do is uh, let's go back to the web document. So the web document asks us to perform a spatial join number 16. So that's where we were, and I wanted to show you something else, but ArcMap is giving an error. But if you go on number 16, it says perform a spatial join, um, joining the coral depth layer and the water pumps. So pretty much what you wanted, what they are saying is that they want to see how many people died um, or what is the proximity or closest um, water pump that um, relates to the depths. So you want to do a join between the depths and then the the, um, the water pumps. So what we do is that we are going to go over here and say I want to do, actually I can just right click on on uh, Corolla devs and then go and say you want to do um, let's do a join and then we want to do a join and then here you want to do a special join okay so you want to do a special join between the Corolla devs and the water pumps all right so when you do that what it's going to do is that it's going to give you um, it's going to give you a, a summary count all right, so here is going to give us a summary count of 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 each death location is going to be related to a water pump. So what it means is that we can now find out this person was most likely drinking his water from this water pump. That is what this analysis is going to do for us. Okay, so here it's already going into that. So I can say uh, special join all right and then it's going to my location that i want so i'll hit on okay and then here you can see that you have an output the new output so in the new output when we open the attribute table you can see that it gives each of them an id and it it, give, it tells you which one is going is going against all right and that is that's what we are looking for over here um let's see what else we can do with this data so now let's remove this guy here and then let's use a two let's find a two called near uh, near distance and actually we can use the near uh, the near distance as well and that will also perform um, one operation for us okay so let's um, actually do Let's take a look at um, question number 16, the special join. The special join we did earlier one was actually the reverse. What we want to do is we want to see the number of people that drank from the water pump. So actually we want to right click on the water pump, go to join and relate, hit on join. And then we want to change it down to special join and then we want to join that to the Corolla devs okay and then here we want to get a, um, a summary count on on uh, how many um, people died in by drinking water close to that area so that's fine so let's go over here and then call it um, special join so I have the name over there already so I'll just change this guy to say special join hit on save and okay on that system will perform it and then it will give you so here if we take off all this and then we take a look at that you can see that there's a new pump layer so the pump layer we have open up the attribute table 
and then when you open up the attribute table you can see that it actually gives you a count of number of people that was close to that pump so let's do something let's symbolize this guy here the water pump so let's say we'll give the water pump this color all right and then what we are going to do is we are going to actually label it if we take a look at question number 19 it wants us to label it with this count field to tell us the number of people that actually died as a result of their proximity to the pump uh, to the pump means that that's where they were getting their water from so go to the properties and then go to labels and then from the label field we can now go and say we want to use the count and now we can check this um, label field and then give it bold maybe make this guy to 10 uh, we can go to symbol and then that will allow us to put the white background on so that click on edit symbol again and then when we do that now we can go to mac hello okay 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 now if we close the attribute table it gives you an idea as to the number of people that were close to each of the pumps and as a result got their drinking water from those pumps so now here you can actually see that this is this pump over here it was the one that a lot of people drank from and that's where you had the highest number of death for carrying right in the middle part of the town um, so if you take a look at number number 20 it's asking you to draw your conclusion so if you draw a conclusion you can see you can take a look and see if due to the proximity of the death to the um, the pumps and being that that was their source of drinking water they all got their um, their their corolla. Now we know corolla is a waterborne disease. By that time, it was something difficult for that um, doctor to be able to make the case. So, play with this, and then we will continue on the journey on spatial analysis. And obviously, we could have done the density. I'll take a look why ArcMap is um, refusing to do that. But on the next one, we will do with the Wilson data. We'll be able to perform some of those. Um, density and answer a couple of um, different questions as well so all right bye